Hello and welcome to 1000 Word Interviews. My name is Mordecai and today I'm joined by Killian. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. And first of all, Killian, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm, my name is Killian. Um, I'm born and raised in Belgium. Um, I did live in Ireland for two years um, where I worked as mainly a bartender and worked with a lot of spirits, whiskey, wine, gin. Um, and now I sell wine in Belgium. Okay. That explains your accent. Yeah, I had to blend in with the Irish people, otherwise uh, <laughs> I stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> okay. um, excellent. Well, today we're going to look at a photo of Killeen's and hear a part of your story. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. Perfect. First question, could you describe what we can see in this photo? Yeah, sure. Um, so what you would be able to see is the large copper uh, construction uh, at the back. Mm. is what we would call a still, okay. uh, an Armagnac still, to be more precise. Um, so this is like a large, like round ton with a, a long chimney on top. Mm. And then in front of it, you can actually see another chimney, which is the wooden stove that's attached to it. Um, you can see it's wood because the person in front is throwing small-ish uh, wooden blocks into the red fire. Mm. You can still see the sparks uh, falling out of it. Yeah. Um, actually, in front of the stove as well, you can see a, a large square box. This is where they would pull out the ashes from the stove and they would drop into the box in front. Mm. Um, then the person who is in front of the stove again is a, a distiller. Okay. We would call that person. Um, he was fairly old. Like he still had he had already gray hair. Mm. Um, but a very strong person, you know, a lot of muscles. Yeah. Um, very dressed for like distilling and working, so jeans, uh, loose shirts, and he would be wearing a large leather apron. Okay. Uh, to protect himself against the fire. Mm. Same, he would be wearing uh, thick wooden, thick gloves to protect against the fire and also to handle the wood. Um, it was very warm in there as well. Uh, and then at the back of the picture, um, you can see a brick wall. Uh, fairly old building where they were distilling and um, so you could very clearly see the bricks and then the mortar in between um, yeah I think that's most of it I just have one question mm -hmm. you mentioned that the machine towards the back is yeah. a still yeah what's a still um, so a still is an old machine actually this is this goes back way back to industry mm. um, and what a still does is actually separate alcohol from a liquid. Okay. Um, so you could use any liquid, but mainly it will be beer or wine. Okay. And then the alcohol that's already in there, they can pull it out okay. through the machine that's called a still. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, this man is stoking the fire. Yeah. And that's going to somehow power this still to produce alcohol? Uh, it's not really powering. Okay. So, uh, well, technically it is. But so what would actually need to happen to get alcohol out of a wine yes. is to heat up the alcohol. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so fun fact, alcohol evaporates at a lower temperature okay. than water does. Mm. So water, when it's 100 degrees Celsius, it turns from liquid to gas. Alcohol does this at between 70, 75 degrees Celsius. Okay. So that means that when they put the wine in, the alcohol evaporates at 75, but the other liquids would stay in the in the still at the bottom. Okay. So they can actually catch it and then separate it. Ah, yeah. so because the boiling... Boiling temperature, yeah, exactly. is different. Yeah. That's actually what allows the separation. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, he's heating the... Yeah. He's, yeah. he's not powering, he's heating the... Yeah, exactly. Because there's no real moving parts in this. It's, like, it's not like an engine or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, to, it's like a puff. Okay. Like it's like a large... If you cook, like I'd say spaghetti. Yeah. That's what you're literally doing. But the vapor that's coming out of it is not your water, but it's the alcohol. Okay. Mm. So in the most simple terms, yeah. for people like me, you don't know yeah. much, <laughs> a steel is a machine for separating alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So next question. Mm -hmm. Where was this photo taken? Um, so this is a winery called Domaine du Tarique okay. in south of France in a region we would call Gascony. Okay. Um, and... Before they actually made wine, they made Armagnac, mm. which is what we did. We would consider the little cousin of a spirit you might know as cognac. Okay. 
Um, Armagnac is not as large as Cognac is. Um, has different grapes, different distillation process. Okay. This whole process will be called distillation. Mm. Um, so the stills are different, the grapes are different, uh, has a different history. Okay. Um, but the company I work for now, we actually import the Armagnac and the wines from this winery. Okay. Um, and we were invited over to go taste the new vintages, the new years, mm. and the Armagnac, of course. Okay. So it's a it's a winery in the south of France. Yeah. In which region, sorry? In Gascony. In Gascony. Yeah. Okay. Got all in French. Uh, what is it in French? Gascony. Okay. <laughs> um, and they produce Armagnac. Yeah. Which is a type of spirit. Yeah. As well as wine. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So next question. Mm -hmm. When was this photo taken? Um, this is actually not that long ago. This was taken um, this January mm. in 2023. Okay. I'd say at the start of January, so in the start of the new year. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And next question. Mm -hmm. Who is this in the photo? Okay. Um, so the person in front uh, is what we call a distiller. Okay. Um, they also have a master distiller. Mm -hmm. I don't recall if this was the master distiller or not. Um, so the master distiller will be in charge of the whole distillation process. Um, but the distiller, especially in Marmignac, um, they only distill for a short amount of time mm. each year because they work with wine mm. and it's not like whiskey where you can distill a whole year. Okay. Um, so during January, February, they would be distilling 24-7. Mm. So the whole day round. Wow. Uh, I'd say the team consists of about four to five people. Mm. And every eight hours, somebody would switch out um, the position. And their job would literally be to keep the fire alive. Mm. Uh, so it doesn't stop. And just checking that uh, the wine goes in, uh, that there's alcohol coming out, that it's not coming too warm, too cold, uh, that everything runs smoothly. Okay. Mm. So a distiller, in that case, yep. is the person who distills or who yep. produces alcohol, yep. this type of alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Um, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, last question, yeah. or last major question. So why have you chosen this photo or what's the story behind it? Um, for a few things, to be honest. So alcohol or alcoholic products are a passion of mine. Okay. I've been doing this for, uh, I'd say the last 10 years now. Yeah. First bartending, making cocktails, then working with whiskey, gin, now working with wine. Um, I've visited many wineries and distilleries already, um, but this is the first time that I was actually be able to be this close to the distillation process. Okay. Um, usually it's behind glass or you can't touch it because it's a very, it's a fairly dangerous process. Mm. Um, usually the stills get very hot. Mm. Um, some of the product that comes out of it that they separate out is poisonous. Okay. So the stories of people going blind or dying of alcohol, that's because of the poisonous parts of it. Yeah. Um, that's dangerous. It is. It is. Yeah, but alcohol is a poison it, <laughs> in some cases. Um, also, this was a, a, a group trip, so it was the entire company I worked for okay. that went. Uh, it was a very fun day, like visiting the vineyards, uh, watching how wine is actually made, uh, because this is a fairly big company. Um, and then there was a big dinner with a lot of French uh, resellers, so people who would sell this product in France. And then also us, the Belgians, were there who were importing this wine in Belgium. Mm. Um, so it was a long dinner, like with many courses and wine pairing, uh, and then finishing off with armagnac and cigars. And okay. Yeah, the night lasted until I'd say midnight or something. It was it was getting hazy at the end. Okay, it was a long day. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds fun. Perfect. And um, well, one final question actually: mm -hmm. What's something that you're looking forward to um, that has something to do with the theme of alcohol okay. or your job? Yeah. Um, Actually, at the moment, I am, I've am i started or I'm doing um, my sommelier course. Okay. Um, so that's, um, to put it in, in, in layman's terms, it's a, a wine expert. Okay. Um, so I'm literally studying um, how wine is made, um, the major regions, major grape varieties. Um, and the idea is that with that information, I can pair the right wine with the right dish. Okay. So somebody in the restaurant would be the person you ask, like, I'm having this dish, what wine would you put together with that? Okay. Uh, to complement each other. So, sommelier, yeah. if I'm pronouncing it correctly, yes. he's kind of like a wine expert. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mainly towards wine and food. 
Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. The combination. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, right, right. So it's more to do with when you drink wine yeah. rather than an expert in terms of production or how yeah, yeah, produce. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for, for telling us. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you so much for coming and speaking yeah. with us. Um, and I've learned a lot about alcohol yeah. in the process, so it's been fun. Yeah, thank you. I enjoy talking about it, so that's fun too. Okay, perfect. And yeah, thanks again. And as always, you can find all of the... Res- sorry, try that again. <laughs> um, as always, you can find all of the questions and responses from today's conversation below in the description. You can also find some of the useful vocabulary and new phrases that we've used today. If you would like to practice your English, you can choose a photo with the theme of alcohol or wine and answer the same questions out loud or else in writing. So thanks again. See you next time. Thanks again for being. You're welcome. Cheers.